Now, this is the other one, show inactive items in inventory valuation. Now, this is tricky because most people would think that this sounds like a real trivial thing. Like, okay, why, why is this important? You know what? Why? Why is this? Uh, why is this important? Um, uh, uh, you know, who cares about inactive items in a in a, in a um, in, in a inventory report? But let me tell you what it is. So let me um, go into the balance sheet. And I'll show you something. I'm gonna go into the balance sheet and I'm gonna click here all. And I want you to look at our inventory asset number. Okay. So our inventory asset number is thirty thousand. 698.28. Let's look at that one more time. Let's highlight that. 30,698.28. Now, most people, when they look at that, they want to say, hey, how does that number construct it? Like, where, where does that number come from? So, normally, what we would do is we go to an inventory valuation report, and this inventory valuation report is supposed to tell me the exact same number that I'm seeing on the balance sheet. Now, right now, my inventory valuation report, it's saying that I only have $14 in inventory. Okay. Now, before the 2019 update, 2018 and, and older, that's it. You, you had to, that's the number that you had to take. You couldn't do anything about it. And, and, and the challenge with this is that there are actually items in my item list that have been marked, that have been marked inactive and they still have a running balance. And remember, most non-power users don't pay attention to that stuff. So I'm going to go into my item list here and notice that I only have a, a few items. If I click on include inactive, we can see inventory parts that actually have a quantity on hand. Now, I shouldn't have marked these inactive in the first place, okay? But that's a different story, right? Like mo most end users don't, don't pay attention uh, to those things. So you, if you see any uh, quantity on hand, so we have any quantity of inventory in an item that has been marked inactive, notice I have a little checkbox here, they're automatically going to drop off that inventory report. So I have to manually, traditionally, before the 2019 upgrade, I have to manually go in there and mark them uh, act active. So I have to go into each one and mark uh, mark them active. Where's my? Let's go to edit. I'm not sure where they're showing. I'm not sure why I can't mark them active, but uh, for some reason it's it's grayed out. But you would have to go into each one and mark it active. I don't know why I'm, why it's uh, preventing me from doing so. Maybe something, uh, maybe I'm doing something wrong here. But uh, normally you have to go into each one and uh, and uh, mark it active in order to do that. Something's cookie with myself for not letting me do so. But that, that's what you have to do manually. And then once you go into this report, um, they would show up as you mark them active. But there's the little the new feature is having this checkbox here that says show inactive inventory items, and I can click on this checkbox and it will uh, recalculate and show me uh, the new inventory asset value. Now, when I was testing this, this this was blowing my mind because I couldn't understand why it wasn't uh, just working out right, and I detected an error on the R1 release, and I'm about to tell you because it's one of those big gotchas. You know, so so the engineering team did a great job. Uh, they they got this checkbox working. It shows me all the inactive items. But notice that there's a difference in the calculation. That's 28,000 and 30,000. I had to do some research to figure out why there's a difference. Well, it turns out that this feature marks uh, the in. It shows you the inactive items, but it doesn't show you the inactive inventory assembly. So somewhere in the development process, they completely missed the memo that inventory assemblies also affect. Your inventory assets. So it was this actual, it was this item that was, uh, let me just uh, double click here. So we had uh, this item here that was uh, an inventory assembly. I'm going to go ahead and uh, activate this one. So unfortunately for the R1 release, uh, this feature kind of works, uh, but, uh, but you have to, the inventory assemblies. So if you have any inventory assemblies that are marked inactive, those for sure you're going to have to uh, mark active because this report uh, it pretty much ignores inventory assembly. So I think I think they went in a great direction here. I think they missed it, but this was I think it was just a human mistake. I already emailed the development team. It wouldn't surprise me that on the next release they either add a check second checkbox uh, up here that says uh, show inactive inventory assemblies, or that somehow that that checkbox includes both. But that's a I think it was important to let you know of that. Um, the feature is great, by the way. 
because if anyone's ever done inventory type of consulting with QuickBooks, they've gone through that frustration of, uh, of having uh, you know, the inventory evaluation report never matches the balance sheet because people mark active items inactive. Now, the other um, thing that should be interesting about, about this is, uh, let me, hopefully it'll work. If I grab any items that actually have uh, inventory items that are showing quantity on hand, so if you look at this one, I have 10 of these in stock. If I actually make these inactive, if I click on make inactive, I now get a warning. So this is also part of the new feature. You get a warning saying, hold on, you shouldn't do this. Uh, this item should be zero before you make it inactive. So it's kind of, it, it's, it's, it's nice because it's uh, kind of warning you about it. Now we know that most end users say, yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. And they just click, click okay and ignore the whole thing. But at least, you know, they're making an attempt to let you know, hey, this is really gonna uh, be an issue anyway. So, so that's, the new feature in a nutshell. You got the checkbox, it enables the inactive inventory items so you don't have to uh, activate each one in order to see the correct report and it warns the user if you're making that inactive. So again, uh, my note is the checkbox ignores inventory assembly so hopefully um, they'll fix that on the next uh, releases.